Russell Wilson's time in Denver might be at a bitter end, and you kind of felt that it could be coming from 100 miles away. From Sean Payton's comments about Russ all year and the public blow up in front of millions of people on national television, this seemed like a rocky relationship that was doomed. And to be fair to Sean Payton, I would have been pessimistic about Russell Wilson after his performance last year too. After an amazing career in Seattle, Russ moved to Denver in hopes of winning Super Bowls. The opposite has happened. He's been a disaster and 11 and 19 as a starter. Abysmal stuff and the critics have come at him like vultures. Look, Russ has always been an easy target with his demeanor. Was the criticism fair though? I'd have to say, despite it being fun at times to mock Russ, no, it's not completely fair. And now here we are, Russ seems like he's at the end of a road with the Denver Broncos, but it made me realize the harsh business that is the NFL, and here's how. So we all know the NFL basically is like a really harsh business. We know that players in general have shorter um, spans of careers than other sports. Players in general get injured more, and that in, in like total adds up to players having shorter careers, being cut more. But in general, like there's three things I think that shows like the rough business of the NFL. Like one, basically all NFL contracts are not guaranteed. It's very, very rare to find a fully guaranteed contract. And now I think it's going to be even more rare after what happened to the Deshaun Watson contract. He got like the first huge, like unbelievably huge, fully, completely guaranteed contract. And then he's been an absolute disaster. And that, my friends, is why we're probably not going to get that many more guaranteed contracts. So you could blame Deshaun Watson for that. So basically, not all contracts are guaranteed. Despite Russell Wilson signing this enormous deal, the whole deal was not guaranteed. So like the risk factor for the players versus what the risk factor is for the owners, there's a huge gap. Like the players are taking a much bigger risk with their livelihood, their health, than the owners are taking with the contracts they're giving out. Also, the number two, the players are always asked to restructure their deals. Um, there was a report that came out that after Russell Wilson helped the Broncos beat the Chiefs, which, by the way, was the first time in a really long time. The team came and approached him and asked him to take a restructure part of his contract or risk being inactive for the rest of the season. And they said he was met with complete shock. He was upset. And here we are now. He benched for the rest of the season because they don't want there are certain parts of his contract that he wouldn't restructure, which is the injury, right? The injury part of a contract. If he did not pass a physical, or sorry, if he passed a phys, was it if he did not pass, if he passes a physical or something like that, he doesn't get the full guarantee. And the team obviously wants to, in their own business, wanted him to restructure it. He didn't. And it goes to show players are always asked to restructure their deal. Like people have completely praised Tom Brady his whole career for taking team-friendly deals. In hindsight, yeah, it's great. It's probably one of more Super Bowls. But it's not fair to ask every single player to do it. Not every player is Tom Brady. And at the end of the day, their lifespan of making money in the NFL is so much shorter than any other sport and any other career. Of course, they want as much money as they can. To ask them to restructure it is really, really difficult. And number three are... Let's talk about the harsh reality. The NFL has the sharpest declines. You see running backs just be uh, all pro and then dive off a cliff in two years. Quarterbacks, amazing, dive off a cliff like Cam Newton. The NFL changes so quickly, and I think that's because it's a game of inches, a game of details, a game of steps. And if you lose one step, you might be able to like literally lose your job and with these contracts they can cut you in a second and that's the harsh reality of it the salary cap harsh reality of it these teams are run like a business you can't blame the teams but overall that's why the nfl is the harshest business in pro sports my name is george Arjour, part and this is the sports on tap make sure you like and subscribe to this channel as we talk more about the business content creation side of sports, 
and we'll see you guys next time.